morning, ma'am. Yeah, good morning. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Yeah, fine. Uh, so, can I have your resume, please? Yeah. Yes. So, your name? I'm Rodi. Okay, where are you from? I'm from uh, Hyderabad. Okay. So, can you tell me something about yourself? Yeah, I'm Rohit. I live in Hyderabad. Uh, I have completed my graduation in Information Technology from CBIT. Uh, I have completed my diploma in uh, Computer Engineering from Kolikutra Government Polytechnic College. And uh, I am passed the uh, SSC with an aggregate of 83% in 2016. Uh, I have been recently interned as a project intern at Police Aerospace. Uh, I have done a three, three months internship with them and then my academic projects include music recommendation system, uh, healthcare chatbot and uh, student complaint management system. My technical skills are ja Code Java, MySQL and uh, HTML. Uh, my hobbies is to play and watch cricket. Cricket. Yeah. So who is your fav favorite cricketer? There are a lot of favorite cricketers but uh, most most likely Who I Who inspired like, you? Uh, there are three players like uh, MS Dhoni, uh, Rohit Sharma and Virat Kohli. Okay, that's fine. So, so I think uh, you are good in SQL. Yeah. Yeah? Yes. Shall I ask some questions in SQL? Yeah, sure. Yeah, okay. What are SQL comments? How you can represent SQL comments? Uh, if you want to uh, write a single line comment, just write a, a hyphen two hyphens, okay. then uh, write the comment. And if you want to write the multiple comments, then we need to include, uh, include uh, I mean, uh, write the comment within the uh, star, uh, slash, star, and ending with star, star, slash. Okay. So when you want to write multiple line comments. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what is the uses of NBL function? Uh, NBL function is used to replace the null values with the default values. Uh, suppose if the, va if the expression 1 has a null value, then uh, it automatically be re replaced by expression 2. Expression 2, two. Yeah. okay. What is the difference between OLTP and OLAP? OL <coughs> OLTP stands for uh, Online uh, trans Transaction uh, Processing. And OLAP stands for online uh, uh, online analytical processing. Uh, OLAP uh, OLTP means uh, in this uh, we have a large uh, large amount of data and large people will access the data. So it is an online database modification system. And OLTP is an uh, online database uh, in online database uh, query uh, query response system. Okay. Uh, explain character manipulation function. Uh, there are a few character manipulation functions. Uh, they are concat, length, uh, uh, left padding, right padding, trim. So okay. these are uh, concat. Concat means it adds both the strings together. Mm -hmm. Like we have in uh, concat concat functions in Java and other programming language. It adds uh, two uh, strings together. And uh, coming to the left padding, right padding, uh, it uh, pads the uh, string to the left, uh, either left or the right, depending on the left padding or right padding. <coughs> and the uh, trim means uh, it will uh, cut, uh, in, it will delete the, it will trim the string uh, from. Uh, we want to, we if we want, uh, like uh, we can give the starting and ending uh, trim. Okay, trim means removing unwanted spaces. Yeah. Okay, uh, so what is the difference between no SQL and SQL? Uh, no SQL and SQL is uh, the no SQL stores the data. Uh, I mean the data in the file format, and okay. SQL stores the data in tabular format. Yeah. Okay. Uh, SQL SQL is a relational database uh, management system, and no SQL is a uh, non-relational database management system uh, and uh, SQL uh, SQL is a we can uh, use it it as a 
if we want to uh, add some relation to the other tables, we can use SQL. If there is no relation, we can go for the no SQL. Like no SQL is used in uh, MongoDB, like that. Okay. Uh, so, what is the difference between now function and current date function? What is the main difference between them? The now function is uh, returns the time the exactly when the query has been executed, and current uh, current date function returns the uh, today's date. Today's date. date. Yeah. What is the difference between cross join and natural join? Cross join and nat natural join is uh, uh, the difference between them are uh, natural join. Uh, this, first of all, coming to the syntax, uh, it uh, the syntax is for the natural join as follows: uh, select a star from table one, natural join, table two. Here we use natural join as a keyword, and in cross join we use cross join. Uh, in um, like uh, select a star from uh, table 1, uh, cross join, table 2. Okay, what is the difference between char and back char? Yeah. So if you want to take any string, either we can use char or back char or back char too. So what is the difference between char and back char? The char function in SQL is uh, like, it is a limited, uh, limited uh, character length of uh, 255 uh, characters and uh, the barcar limit is uh, up to like 65,535 characters uh, and uh, it, it uses character variable and uh, this variable barcar uh, uh, uses variable length. Variable length. Okay. Uh, so what do you understand by query optimization? Query optimization means uh, if any uh, query taking a long time to execute, we need to uh, optimize that query to execute in very less time. Suppose if a query is taking uh, like one hour to execute, we uh, if we optimize it, if we want to optimize it, uh, like if we want to uh, execute that query uh, within uh, a minute or some less than uh, uh, half, one hour, then we need to optimize it. The okay. optimization is nothing but uh, we execute, we want to execute, uh, we modifying the query as a, uh, it takes less time to execute. Okay. Uh, what are the different types of SQL sandboxes? The, uh, first of all, coming to the sandbox uh, definition, uh, sandbox is a safe place where in, in the SQL server, uh, uh, there are three types of sandbox. What is schema in SQL SQL server? What is schema in SQL server? Schema is a logical visual representation of a, of a database. Uh, there are two types of schema, star schema and uh, uh, semantic schema. Semantic schema. Okay. How can you insert null values in a column uh, while inserting the data? While inserting the data. Uh, there are two ways to do so. Uh, one is implicitly or by explicitly. So how we can create a temporary table in SQL? How you can create it temporary is same as table? Yeah. It is yes, same as writing the query table. on the board. Okay. What the query you want to write, write on the query on the board. So to create a temporary table, we need uh, the syntax as follows. Create table name. Uh, before writing the table name, we need to write the hash function. Then we need to write the table name here. So create a table, temporary table name you have yeah. to give. The so using the hash function, we create the uh, temporary table. You did not mention table. Create a table, temporary table name you yeah. need to write down. Uh. Create table, mm. hash table name. Okay. But then we need to define the attributes. Suppose if we want to take the ID, uh, then defining the data type of it. Then some other name attribute. Mm. Then it's data type. Okay. And so on. Okay. So how you can insert data into it? Into the temporary table? Yeah. To insert the data, uh, insert into 
uh, hash this table name we need to write here. Then this same attributes data type. Data type means what type of data you can pass? Integer or number? You need to mention any, the type of data or yeah, not. We can uh, pass any uh, data type. Mention like, the data type. Number 10. Mm. Name. Mm. String type. String, oh, we can write down string here. No, no, sorry. Hmm. Back care. Back care. Okay. So, how can you remove duplicate rows in the table? For suppose, you have created one table. Okay. In that, you are having some duplicate rows. Okay. How you can remove the duplicate rows? Uh, mention the... to delete a suppose we have an employee table here So this is a uh, this is a query to delete a duplicate row. Duplicate row. Yes. Oh, for suppose if you are having any IDs in your duplicate, yeah. if it is repeated more than yeah. one. So here, uh, sorry, we need to write the uh, where condition here. Okay. Select uh, employees from uh, select delete uh, from employees where mm. when where of select ID name count of ID. Uh, group by ID group you by are ID. taking. So count. you are using group by clause. Yeah. By by using this count ID, if the ID is repeated, if it is greater than one, mm. then it will delete delete that row. Okay. So uh, write on uh, another query also. Write the SQL query to get the third maximum salary of an employee from a table named employees. See, for suppose uh, you have created one employee table. Let us assume. Okay. okay. So, I think in the table you are having some 20 rows, employee details. Okay. You need to find out, okay, third maximum salary. Okay. What is the function we have to use? So, by using dense function, we can do so. Do. Okay. We have an employee table.
Yeah, so this is. Okay, dense underscore random, dense right. Yeah. Okay. So this is the query to find out uh, third maximum salary. Yes. Okay. Order by descending. Okay. Yeah. Have you received? What are your salary expectations? So, as a fresher, I'm looking. I'm just looking for the opportunity. I'm looking for for this platform to gain some skills. Uh, so, as per the company norms, I'm expecting. Okay. So, do you have any questions to ask me? Yeah. Uh, how did you like my interview? Uh, actually, you should be a little more confident in the subject uh, while writing the queries. Okay, what I observed is, okay, you are confidently saying, but uh, the way of explanation, uh, you have to change a little bit. And um, while telling the answers, uh, you should be very confident. You are confident no. that uh, you are not having any fear or uh, nothing like that. But when you are telling the answers, you are taking much time. So don't take much time. Okay. So that is my one of my suggestion for you. Apart from that, everything is good. Okay. Okay. Your interview is completed. So for further details, our HR will contact you. Okay. Thank you.